When a vessel is in a traffic separation scheme, it has to obey all rules, including rules of the traffic separation scheme. While using the traffic separation scheme, you should navigate in the direction of the lane, and not in opposite direction. The course line should be drawn parallel or nearly parallel to the direction of the lane. Draw the course at the center of the lane and clear of the edges. Entering or leaving traffic separation scheme. Make the course line join the traffic separation scheme at the beginning or at the end. If vessel has to join in the middle, then it should do at a very small angle to the traffic separation scheme. Similarly, when leaving in the middle, the angle should be small. Crossing the traffic separation scheme. If possible, vessel should avoid crossing traffic lanes. If cannot avoid, then cross the traffic lane with a heading which is about 90 degrees to the traffic separation scheme. This would be the shortest distance and prevent confusion for other vessels. Similarly, if you want to exit the traffic separation scheme, first move to the edge of the lane at a small angle. Then, cross the opposite lane at 90 degrees or nearly so. IMO has demarcated the inshore traffic zones. These are not to be used by large vessels. Only vessels less than 20 meters, or 65.62 feet in length, sailing vessels, and vessels engaged in fishing are allowed to use them. Ships may use the inshore traffic zone only in emergencies. A vessel may also use the inshore traffic zone in cases when approaching port, offshore installation, or pilot station. When joining or leaving the traffic separation scheme. The ship should be alert. Lookouts should be posted. At least two radars working, the engines should be on standby, and the helmsman should be alert. All emergency measures prior to entering the traffic separation scheme should be tried out as per the company's policy. Anchoring is not permitted within the traffic separation scheme or around its terminations, except in emergencies. If you are not using the traffic separation scheme, you should be as far away as possible from it. This will prevent confusion for the ships which are heading to or leaving the traffic separation scheme. The fishing vessels, while fishing, should not come into the traffic separation scheme. The small vessels less than 20 meters, or 65.62 feet in length, should not come and disturb the passage of a ship following a traffic separation scheme. Such vessels can sail along the inshore traffic zone. There are ships which are involved in operations such as repairing or renewing the buoy in the traffic separation scheme. Such vessels are restricted in their ability to maneuver and are exempted from complying with the rules for the vessels in the traffic separation scheme. Similarly, vessels carrying out the operation for laying, servicing, or picking up a submarine cable in the traffic separation scheme are also exempted from these rules. According to Rule 10E, a vessel other than a crossing vessel or a vessel joining or leaving a lane shall not normally enter a separation zone or cross a separation line except 1. In cases of emergency to avoid immediate danger. 2 to engage in fishing within a separation zone. According to Rule 10J, a vessel of less than 20 meters, or 65.62 feet in length, or a sailing vessel shall not impede the safe passage of a power-driven vessel following a traffic lane.